Hello everyone, welcome to another GDevelop 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create player lives in GDevelop 5. So first of all, I will show you how it's expected to work. So let's run that. So here are our player lives, 1, 2, 3. So now, if our player is in collision with an enemy, one life's gone. And if it's in collision for the second time, another life's gone. So if we're in collision with the refill health, it adds one more life. And if we're in collision again, it takes it out and again it restarts the whole game all over. So that's it restarts the scene. So I'll just close it and that's what we will be doing today. So in mind. I'll just now first of all open your GDevelop 5 project. Here it is. Okay, it's almost empty. So now let's add an object. Sprite. Click to add an animation and let's add let's add um the hut empty. This will be our background for the hut. Apply now put that into the scene. Let's place that um somewhere around here. I think I want it a little bit up so 18. Okay, I think here's okay. And let's add the layer to GY. Now put that again into the scene. Y18. I want to actually put everything on a straight line, so I have to use the Y axis row. So put the third one into the scene. Y18. And we have to set the rest to GYs. And the last one to GY. So everything's here now in GY. So it actually attaches itself to the screen. So we won't actually like be left behind when the screen is moving. So now we need to add the life. So in adding the life, we won't add it like how we added this by adding one object. We have to add each life separately. So add an object, sprite, life one, add animation, click on that. And let's add the first life. Apply, put that into the scene. Place it directly above this, but before we do that, set the layer of the life to GUI. Now place that directly above this, so X26, Y18, X26, and Y18. Now do that for the second life. Sprite. Object name life2. So I put that into the scene, set it to GUI, place that directly above this x88y18. Sorry, 88y18. So let's do that again for the last life. Add animation, click on that. Now, life 3. Apply. Pull that into the scene. Now set the layer to GY. Place it directly above the third one X149 Y18. Let's set that one for 9 and Y18. Now it's placed like directly above it. So now we need to add the refill light um health. So that's what actually like adds the life back. So add an object sprite, an animation. Um, I think I'll just use this for the refill. So I'll name that life refill. Apply. Pull this into the scene. You don't um don't set this to GUI because it will move with the screen. Just leave it as a base layer. So um so it's actually left behind and it doesn't move with the screen. So now we're done with everything, like pulling into the scene. Now we need to go to our game events. Now let's add a new group. Let's rename name that player lives. And let's add an empty event under put that under that and add condition. Now beginning of scene at the beginning of scene add condition scene variable 
let's create a scene variable value of scene variable we need it to be like life um scene variable sorry let me just life modification sign set to value three this means that I have three lives so at the beginning of the scene it creates a scene variable our um life and put three so if you have like four to five lives you you will have to change this to like five but since I'm using three so I will use um three as the scene variable life so I don't know the empty event um play um oh, sorry scene variable value of scene variable life sign of test is set to by compared to so now this is what actually tells us like now the scene variable life is set to two um it will hide the object life three let's hide hide the object life three add another so empty event you know add condition scene variable value of scene variable life sign of the set to value compare is set to one now we hide the object hide the object life two no okay let's add a model empty event add condition now this is for the last life so scene variable value of scene variable life sign of test is set to zero scene variable life is equals to zero hide object you need to hide the object that's the last life hide the object life one and we need it to like restart the whole scene so that's change to scene game that's the name of my scene okay I don't know the empty event under that now this is what actually um this will actually takes the player's life out like if it's in collision with the enemy it reduces the life so that's all about feeling now so add condition collision player hitbox player hitbox is in collision with enemy that's a group so it generally works with everything placed under a group so okay player hitbox is in collision with enemy add condition Animation Okay, animation sorry current animation current animation of enemy current animation of enemy is set to zero Okay and add condition um, player is on the floor, so that's our player. Player hitbox. So player hitbox is on the floor. Now this is what we need to actually like take out the life. So now add a, an action scene variable value of scene variable life. Modification sign subtract so you subtract one life from it. So now, if our player is in collision with the enemy, subtract one life from the scene variable life. And now, okay, so that's it. Let me just run that. Now, here's a character if it's in collision with the enemy, it takes out. Oh, sorry. Right here, game events at the beginning of the scene, live. Um, find object. Okay, we need to finish the whole event before we can run that. So, add another event, add condition, collision. So, now this actually adds um, the life 
So, um, collision. When it's in collision with the life refill. So, player hits box. Player hits box is in collision with life refill. Player hits box is in collision with life refill. Scene variable. Um, get condition. Scene variable. Life. Modification sign. It adds value one so it adds one to the scene variable life so now let's add another empty event below that now okay before we do that player to box in collision we refill we also need it to like delete the um life refill when it's in collision with it so add condition delete the object life refill so Okay, now it deletes the the object and it's in collision with it. So let's now um in this empty event here you add a condition scene variable value of scene variable is set to one. So this adds it value of scene variable um oh, sorry life a variable is life sign of there so values compare one Add condition it shows the object shows the object life one we do the same for the next one I don't know empty event scene variable value of scene variable life sign of test set to values compare one okay show the object Show the object life two. So when the scene variable life is set to, I'm um, sorry, when it sets to two, it shows the object life two. Add another empty event under that. Add condition scene variable value of scene variable life sign of test set to value compare three. Show the object. Show object life three. Okay. So now let's go to our game and let's run that. Okay. So now if our player is in collision with this, oh. Okay. Close that game event. We forget to add one more thing. Here, here it is. So now, playing box is in collision with enemy. It reduces one life. So it doesn't actually know. It needs to like take it one at a time. So we need to add a trigger once. Trigger once. Okay. So now let's run that. So now, when collision with enemy, it takes one life and not all. When collision with again, it takes another life. If one collision with a heart refill, it adds a life and it deletes it as you can see. So you can actually get the life again. You have to find another one. Here's so if one collision it takes out again and again and it restarts the whole scene and that's how it's done.